Hey, today we are taking a look at Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. This is an EBSCOhost tool. Uh, it has over 2,000 full text magazines and books that it pulls content from, uh, over 720 videos, and it covers a lot more um, than you would think would be associated with just arts and crafts. In fact, um, it also covers uh, things like um, musical instrument um, creation and also maintenance and also like how to play those different musical instruments. Um, it also gives you information about different recreational games uh, for indoors um, and also decorating and tons of other stuff too. So really kind of a robust robust resource um, that uh, has a lot more content than kind of meets the eye. So to get started we want to go to Ohio Web Library um, and then if we browse down to DIY resources and how-to guides we can click on Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center right here. So there's a few different ways to get at the content that we're looking for. If we are just browsing and looking for different projects for us to do, um, we can go in through this browsing interface that has different uh, categories highlighted. Um, so let's take a look here in the arts and crafts and see what type of categories we have. So we can see there's lots of different stuff covered here. Um, beading, ceramics, uh, leather work, metal work, all types of stuff here. Let's page down and take a look into musical instrument making. So when we click on that subcategory, it's going to give us a list of results, just like if we had done a, a search, essentially. Um, so as we're looking through here, we are able to limit our results by using the tools on the left-hand side. So I'm just looking for projects here right now. So I'm going to limit just to that. I also have the option of looking through various subjects that might be of interest and various publications too that are contributing to um, our search results right now. So as I'm looking through these, let's say I am a violinist who maybe was rocking out a bit too hard and uh, broke their bowhead. So if I click here on this article, it's going to take us to a records page. Um, it won't take us directly to the article, but it'll just give us a, a record of um, where this content comes from, essentially. Um, on the right-hand side, we are able to add this record to a folder, print the information, email it to somebody directly, um, cite the source, and we can also generate a permalink that'll take us back there. Um, and we can also share this information through um, various social media platforms. Uh, but let's go take a look at our reading view here. So inside the reading view here, we have a few different options. We still have these different options on the right-hand side um, that we just went over here, like the printing, the emailing, storing to our folder. Um, but we also are able to browse through the contents of whatever publication or whatever resource that we got this from by using these tools on the left-hand side. You can see too, as I'm looking through the resource, I can fit this to my page here to make it a little bit more visible. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, and I can print, download, or rotate the page as well. Um, so let's say that we are looking for something else though. Um, the other way to get out of that content is to perform a search. So if we go back to our home page here, and click here and do a basic search. Now as I'm typing here it's going to generate some uh, predictive searching results here at the bottom which can be really helpful if you're not quite sure what you're looking for um, but you have a broad idea and you want to kind of be narrowed in on that. And I knew I was going to spell that wrong. Goodness. Let's say I'm looking for information on maintaining my guitar. Um, I can perform that search, and I've got seven results here. So uh, as I'm looking through, let's say I'm interested in setting up my guitar. I can see that I, I have an article right here that's relevant. Um, if I wanted to, I can change it just down to projects here, and you have uh, two two results that were in the previous pool. Um, 
but are a little bit more narrowed in on, on what they would consider projects. So I could do changing strings or cleaning up in storage. Uh, I can also take off those limiters by clicking over here on the left hand side. So let's take that off and we can learn how to change some strings here. Also we want to note on the right hand side here we can add these to a folder and we can go through and we can print, email, or save multiple items at the same time. This will only be maintained during the session though. So once you log out that information will be gone. Okay. So uh, let's hop into this article. And we can see we have that same type of reading view here. Um, so I can go through the article or go through the, the resource over here on the left hand side um, and do all those same things, print, store, um, and send that to somebody else if I need to. So let's hop back to the main page here though and take a quick look at the other things that are available to us. So from the top here, if we're interested in only finding uh, videos or images of different crafts, that might be sewing patterns, um, showing how to do a specific technique when you're doing a certain type of craft, or whatever, um, you can click here and you'll only view that type of content. You can also browse through the various publications that are included in this resource by clicking here. And you'll see at the bottom here, there's going to be some different pub popular sources that are highlighted. So that's a great way to keep up with the content of these publications too. Um, and in the upper right hand corner here, we have this Makerspace Spotlight. So if you're just looking for something interesting, like a different craft or a different uh, project to try out, um, you can click here and it'll give you direction on that. Uh, so that is our premium resource, Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. Thank you for listening.